man who is unapologetically instrumental when it comes to turning on our world of music a man who three days ago took to twitter and he said i am coming back to save the ugandan music industry hey purse where are you going to start yes. so many problems here start, there start, start, start by saying beat. hello to the people one more time because they one, missed how you. Are you viewers yeah <laughs> those who don't know me my name is a pass yeah. gonza alexander the great yes don't see it uh-huh yeah yeah, yeah man. <laughs> i'm live and direct on tv yeah it's been three years the fact is people years. did miss you yeah. and three years three, and years. three days ago you say you're coming back to, to save, save the industry yes. let's start from there bro i'm superman let me, let me, let me, let me superman make, let me first make a quick correction yeah you are live mm. on tv's biggest music show tell them ain't tv the best don't see it. <laughs> that is the one. Welcome to the joint. <laughs> Thank you. We Appreciate definitely it. miss <laughs> you. When we did get to let people know that you were coming through, so many people yeah. did also share the same sentiment saying, I mean, it's been a minute yeah. and they would love it. Not that it's a must if you mm. could explain yourself. Yeah. Explain <laughs> why it took you this long because people had gotten so accustomed to APAS. Oh, yes. What, what have were. you been on? <laughs> what is your reason for hiding? Um. And yeah, like, just let them know. What's up? First of all, yeah. he said, um, coming back to yeah. serve the industry. That's, that's top of my agenda. I think since I came into the industry, I brought something different. That's true. And um, that's, that's already a plus for me, because yes. I'm A-pass, so I already passed in that. I'm top of the class. Tell so I <laughs> made sure that I do something new. Yeah. And when I say I'm coming back to save it, it's because I can see what is happening. Yeah. I can see what is not there. Yes. And I can see what I can add. So yeah. basically, I'm looking at the whole industry and I'm seeing what I can really give it. Yes. So I'm coming back to save it because I'm um, the lyrical superman, you know, lyrical, lyrical chemist yeah. and everything, you know biologist, yeah. everything. So I'm just going to make sure that people enjoy themselves when they're listening to music. Yes. Because I feel like they were not enjoying themselves. Yes. But a few times I went to clubs, I was seeing people not dancing. <laughs> enough, so I said, you know what? I thought, I I thought we had chosen a more dancing <laughs> direction. I <was> <laughs> <laughs> and just change things and help the Ugandan industry. Because if, if you were to point out a few things that you feel or that you noted in your, mm. should I say, haters? Absence. Or, yeah. What are the, the few things that you can say you noted were either lacking or we are doing so much of mm. that we should not actually be doing mm. as opposed to what you believe is supposed to be done musically speaking? Um, people are on their phones when they're out. I don't like that. Yeah. People are snapping. I want to make music so that you don't snap. Yeah. You want to squeeze sing. your lady. Yeah. You want to <laughs> squeeze your, your girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to squeeze your, your side cheek. <laughs> Whatever the case is. <laughs> so I just feel like <laughs> yeah. I needed to bring something that is fresh yes. for love. That kind of energy. Yeah. Not forgetting the street music. Yeah. The street music, we have it on Lark, Dancehall. Yeah. So... We've been working on that because we can see what is happening. And even yeah. on TV, you are yeah. seeing, like, there are not so many fresh ideas. Yeah. People are bringing up stuff, which is nice. You feel like it's okay. Yeah. But, but now I have also have my stuff, which yeah. I feel I can change and bring a difference to the game. Yeah. So my absence um, was not really that thing that is really a problem. Yeah. It is something that I've been looking at, like, how can we solve certain things that I'm seeing from the sidelines, not yeah. being out there? Yeah. And I can see, and I believe that there is something I can bring that is really different. Hey, Press, um, to a lot of people, you may have been absent, but to me, you've always been present, at least to my ears, mm -hmm. and uh, to your friends as well who listen to your music. They will say, but Apres has been dropping jumps. I mean, Apres, last week, he dropped a jump. Um, yeah. He's been doing a lot in terms of giving young artists collaborations. Kampala, the remix dropped. Um, uh, Lucas Black's, you know. Yes, Lucas Black. You dropped the remix with him. You've worked with uh, Sean Main. Yes, Sean Main. We You've worked with Baraka, Bungie. You've worked with Joshua Baraka. Yes. You've worked with all these young kids. And for me, you've always Zos. been around. Zos again. Zos um, he's well. a gospel artist, right? No, 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 no. He's actually like, uh, he does everything. He's <laughs> there, there. But yes. yeah, yeah, you've been working with all these kids. I want to know, is it intentional for you to get these kids? Because a lot of legends like yourself would actually charge a fee. Mm -hmm. Others would tell a young artist, you know what? You need to reach somewhere or become great because, you know, a goat has to work with a goat and stuff like that. But then there's you. You get these kids, they are talented, and you enter studio with them. And from my interaction with them, is you always keep time? 
sometimes you even reach there before them. Yes, true. And you're always there to work with them. Talk true. to us about this new journey that is happening with your life. The new generation, for me, I feel like I have, um, I have a, a cause. I'm not just an artist who, who, who should come here and do my thing and I leave. I think we have to inspire the younger ones. I call on to artists. I've worked with like C, I've worked with Liko Banji, I've worked with Lagoom, I've worked with uh, Joshua Baraka, before even people yes. saw his new song. Oh, no, I've oh, worked with um, Lucas, I've worked with um, uh, Walter, yes. Whitey, and, um, and uh, Thingy. What's his name on Kampala Remix? Uh, yeah. Uh, Genesis. Yes. You know, I've worked with, and those are just to mention but a few. What I am doing right now is to make sure that my collaborations are tailor-made for upcoming artists, not established artists. Established artists, I can help them with writing music and stuff like that, or even help on other things. But I just don't want to put too much focus on them because the younger generation needs support. Some of us didn't get as much support coming up. So when I look at that and see these guys trying to do stuff, I want to call, them up, to call upon them and try to help them. And it's on my terms. I just see the artist and see that this one is trying. Yeah. When I see that there's an effort that you're putting in, I'm like, okay, come and I give you a boost. And I feel like that's what we should do. Other than say, work hard, you'll get there. <laughs> I feel like that is wrong because that is not how you help people. If you see someone doing something and you can genuinely maybe even just give them... Um, a point a in word, the right direction. You know something, j direction or yeah. whatever. And that's what I do. My studio sessions are actually long. Yeah. I spend like five hours with the artist. And it's for free. There's nothing like payment. Yeah. I never charge artists to work with them. And I pick them best of their energy. Yeah. It's nothing like you're going to reach out to me and then I come and do something for you. I'll find you. I will call you myself. Yeah. Joshua Baraka told to me support. he was on his live hmm. asking, uh, playing um, Omu. Mm -hmm. And he was like, guys, who do you think I should work with? And you actually slid in his DM and yeah. said, you know what? I'm going to jump on it. It's work, you know? That's, that's, that's music because it's, it's the passion, man. I love music. And even seeing these young artists, these young artists have something burning. They've not done much. They're not yet corrupted. And I want to help them not be corrupted by the industry so that at least when they come in, they have an understanding of what the industry is, best of someone who actually has maneuvered. If you're looking at even like streaming and all that, I may not have the most numbers, like some other people ever, yeah. but I still earn. And on top of that, people buy my stuff because I have albums. I may not have, let's say, the highest streaming, but people buy the albums, and which is amazing. And on top of that, just that pushing that kind of agenda. If you're looking at social media, even popularizing it, it has been me. People forget that I've actually made sure that people can actually push their stuff off social media on a high level. Yeah. You know? Have their songs on iTunes, not just have them on other people's uh, YouTube channels. How Let them be you, on you, their you stuff. shot, you know, at but how Biz told them to remove. Yes, I told them to your remove. Your and yeah. uh, yeah. I, I, feel, I feel like it didn't even help because so many artists didn't come to my, to my support, which yeah. I didn't like. Because if you stand and say, you know what, we need to change this. Yeah. Sites like How Biz should be able to find a way to monetize so that, and not in a bad way, yeah. find a way to monetize so that artists can earn off their hard work. Yeah. But if you are going to take the music and act like as if you're helping us, yet you're using our help, off our energy and our music, to get ads and do all that stuff, we need you to find a way to monetize. And that was my point. Yeah. They've never done it up to now. What does that show? They are willing not to change. Yeah. And for me, that's why I said, you know what, remove. Yeah. And I feel like even because... But, that but you've been taking many of these stances online. Yes. And yet we are seeing so many people come out to try and create stuff to help artists such as yourself. Yes. And we're wondering whether or not you've been able to take part in, should I say, the federations yes. and or associations that have come up to, again, claim for or to work in the I, same direction. I don't think the associations are trying to do what I stand for. Yes. Yes, they are, not, they are on their other thing. I think they are looking at copyright. But we've looked at that even before. Yeah. Sure. Copyright, we've looked at that before. We've looked at all these things. Yes. I'm one of the few people who really has my music structured copyright right mm -hmm. wise. Yes. If you're looking at it, I'm yes. already signed to ASCAP way yes. back. Yes. This is before even artists cared about all these things. They had UPRS, but the way it works is not transparent enough. Yes. Yeah. I don't feel like people earn 
what they really deserve. They will work so hard, but they'll just give you an envelope and you'll find out how much they gave you based off how heavy the envelope is. Yeah. Maybe the weight may be very small yeah. or high. You never know, depending on what your level is in the industry. But should things be like that, no. we should give you best off the time you've spent in the industry. No. Should be best off the, the streams, the numbers, and the work. Yeah. But it's not best off that. If they feel like Dougie Nice would shout more if because he's been in the industry for a long time, they'll give him more money. And yeah. they'll give the same money to, like, let's say, Fik, yeah. if he had, like, so much going on yeah. and his stuff has been selling as much. And I feel like that is where the problem is. Yeah. If we don't have accountability, you are not telling me, and even when it's there, it's unfair, mm. you know? If yeah. we don't have that kind of accountability, how do we have these platforms support us if yeah. they cannot be open with us? We need that kind of openness. Yeah. And even within the artists. Artists say they care. So if you say you care, artists, Ugandan artists should have all told sites like How Biz to remove their music or else pay them. Yeah. How Biz would change. But if you have me alone, you make them have the power. Blackball me yeah. in one way. I know for a fact. You Galax look like the rebel. Yes, yeah. exactly. I know for a fact Galaxy does not follow me on Twitter. If you check now, live, so yeah. that you see, they don't follow me on. On Instagram, it only shows you. I'm an artist. They follow all artists, apart from who? Apart from Avis. And I don't think the they still play my music as much as they should. <laughs> yeah. You get the point. And because this you only took a stance against And this only shows you is because when someone stands alone, it's going to be fought. Yes. And that is what these artists let me... That's why I'm not part of their stuff. Yeah. That's what, why I'm what, not what really involved in whatever they're doing. Yeah. I think what you have done is you have properly understood the financial basics of making money out of music, regardless of who chooses to play your music mm. or, or who does not. Yes. Because <coughs> from day one, you have always stood the ground that, I remember the first time that I gave you an interview about six years ago, you were with Don MC yeah. and Buddy, the video producer. <laughs> Buddy Studios. Buddy yeah. Studios yes. in Salama Road with Don MC. And uh, we had a conversation, post-conversation, after the interview. You remember, as we were playing pool. And you mentioned something to me. And you said, Dougie, the reason I'm being in this industry is because I want to be different. I am going to be different. And uh, about three or four years down the road, we was having a conversation right here in studio. And you said, when the question came your way, that up to today, four years, you've not had a concert. And they said, you are not everywhere. People can go a full year without seeing you. You are not performing on concerts. And you said, the one thing that I can quote as you said, you said, you see, the music industry thinks that being everywhere makes you everything. And I actually came to realize you are very correct. Yeah. Being everywhere doesn't make you everything. Because in a million ways, Apus has been absent on site, but he has been present on site and online is always there yeah. that's what i'm saying yeah. he has been absent on human site but he has been very much present on digital site everywhere in every respect that can be called for yeah. and for me i accord you that kind of respect understanding the semantics and the basics of how the industry should work you have believed in the position that Music yeah. industry. Just before we came for this interview, Jay here was serenading us with your love album. And the BPM of the songs he's been sampling us here. Is a BPM <laughs> 75. <laughs> People here believe that to be relevant in the game, above. when I BPM, mm. 99. You see what I'm trying to say? Yes. yes. So I, I want to accord you that kind of respect that you have stood true to the core of what you believed in in the industry. That's dope. I'm humbled. It's, it's a blessing. And um, to top up to what you're saying, I feel like an artist should know why they're doing what they're doing. Yeah. If you have a big reason and you know why you're doing what you're doing, you will know how to do it. And you'll stick to it. And you won't allow anyone to no just... No pressure. Yes, exactly. No. Because if you think about it on a deep level, if let's say today I took every person's opinion on what sh I should do, 
What does that mean? What does that really show about who I am as a person? That means I have no sense of direction. You don't or I stand just choose for what other people think I should go with, and we work with that. Yeah. We have to work with our own thing. That's why I said, like one of my posts, I said, you know what? This is my story. I'm not going to give Dougie Nice the pen to write my story. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to give it to Linda. You know, I'm not going to give it to Sammy. I'm not going to give it to Selector. Mm. It doesn't make sense. The story is mine, so I'm going to tell it my way and at my pace. Yeah. Because if you think about it, let's say I'm doing an album. For the first time, I said, let me do a love album. Yeah. Why? Because I felt like I'd never done a particular album that is actually on one thing. Yeah. All my albums have had like jam packed stuff, you know. Yeah. There's a Tuli Kubigeda here, there's yeah. a different there's stories. Three, Raga Raga wa no simanya, yeah. history, whatever, then haters, love. whatever love here, Chidongo. <laughs> but for the first time I said, you know what, let me go a certain direction. And that was triggered by a lockdown. Yeah. Affairs of the heart. That was but yes, that was triggered by lockdown because you it's had like so you know, many emotions yeah. coming out during the lockdown though. Yeah. There's well. a point in time in which you are even also, should I say, as a teacher, lecturing yes. your fellows. Uh Different statements have come <laughs> from you uh, that have caused so much havoc online, and I'm pretty sure you're, you're been following because they're your uh, conversations. One of them came about when you were talking about YouTube followers and views, yes. and the, the, the game of numbers. And the, yeah, and the game of numbers. Maybe you can be be able to explain it even better, aside from because we we read to things clear the wrong. <laughs> to clear I the air, to clear the air, or to clear the throat. Yeah, for those that might have so misunderstood people you. people may have misunderstood you because when you <laughs> yes. write something, yes. people read it how they yes. want to read it. Yes, or interpret it. Yeah, yeah, and interpret it their own they way because so many artists were rubbed off the wrong way. Yes, making it feel like okay, who are you to yes. tell us how we should get yes. our people to like? But yes. um, maybe you can go ahead and narrate the whole idea of not wanting people to. You, you know lately we have been and we yet have been you living. actually benefit from yes lately we have been living in a world of misunderstanding yes yeah. someone says beggars and, he, and then yeah. another direction. now paper <laughs> says numbers <laughs> <laughs> because you so yourself this is the time for you to, yes. yeah you've been able to uh, profit <laughs> digitally but yes. do not want people to do this yes. should i say yeah. the, cheating the cheating digitally i so don't how think does it's it work? even cheating it's um it's lying to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, do you know, do you know, like, let's say you, you're a musician, eh? yeah. and you sing your songs yourself, mm. and um, you listen to them yourself. Mm. It's like lyrical masturbation. <laughs> you alone do it, and you alone enjoy it. Enjoy. <laughs> so, so basically, <laughs> that is called, that is called <laughs> lyrical masturbation. <laughs> Lyrically. You what? You alone do it and you alone enjoy it. So yeah. the thing is this. Yeah. Why he said, why he said, why he said it's wrong mm. for an artist to lie to themselves? Because let me give you an example. Yeah. Linda, you're an artist and you put up your song on YouTube mm. and then go and do these bots where robots yeah. like your video yeah. and stream your video. Yes. It is not actual people. Yeah. How do you gauge how much effort you have to, you, to put in into the next song when you know for a fact you are n you have no idea how many people have genuinely, have genuinely liked it yes liked your stuff or even viewed it because you're manipulating the numbers now this is the problem people manipulate numbers on social media they have a big following yeah on social media just to to fool people that they are big yeah let me tell you i would rather be rich than look rich mm. and i believe so many people would rather yeah be look rich yeah than actually than, be than rich. work to be rich sad, but in actual sense yeah. people would want to be rich than actually look like they're rich yes so for me based on the artists i feel like if you go and manipulate numbers it is wrong because it does not help you and on top of that you're lying to yourself you can if you genuinely really want to be up there yeah work off your energy yeah try to push your funds to, to, to support yeah. your stuff but don't try to manipulate the numbers. Yes. Wow. Oh, yes. Numbers, numbers, numbers. The teacher is uh, educating. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I love the way he's so good with numbers yeah. as much as he. Do it. Yeah. The fact that you didn't move a single muscle yes. to actually get this done. You but stayed in your house and did everything. The yes. Everything was. Uh, there's one in the bedroom, but there's one in the. Oh, there is one below. You, you keep trying to give people what you have deemed as different <laughs> stuff, even in the messages, you're always trying to either poke at something different or yes. push someone off, like basically just looking to, for ways to shake tables. Sure. But
how does exactly does that work? We've seen people not be so res uh, receptive yeah. of, should I say, the new ideas, the new yeah. genres, the particular genres that have for the longest time struggled in our industry. And those are the fields that you actually take to, mm -hmm. like R&B, like this yes. particular song. Yes. How do you make it work, considering you already know our audience is all about Chidandani? Yes, the audience <laughs> has to be shifted. Yeah. The audience has to be shifted. You see, as long as the artist likes what they're doing, yeah. the audience comes last. Whenever you start thinking about the audience, you lose the creative vibe within you that you can bring. Because there is an energy you have as an artist and you're thinking of something. Yeah. Think about that something first before you think about the audience. Because the audience is there to consume. Yeah. So all you have to do is that within yourself, find that thing, yeah. do it, Give it to them. And if they don't like it, it's okay. If some like it, that's it. Because remember, as an artist, I don't do music for everyone. Yeah. I do it for those who get it. Mm. I don't do it for Tom, Dick, <laughs> and grandmother, Harry. and whatever. <laughs> I do it for those who will understand it. So yeah. those who will get it will get it. Some people may get a wuyo mm. and may not get a tulikubigiri. Yeah. Yeah. Some people may get a mariana mm. and they may not get a chupa kuchupa. Yeah. And it's not really even a problem because yeah. people have choice. Yeah. So as an artist, as long as you feel something, for example, chupa kuchupa. Yes. Is a is a club basically song, like club a, song, yeah. Clubs. yeah. And on top of that, it's about the 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 the, the beer, yeah. You know the the drinks, yes. alcohol. I don't drink alcohol, yeah. But I know the audience does, so I kind of like have them in mind. But yeah. I'm having myself in mind. Yeah. Come, yes. come back, call it something. Yeah. But I'm thinking of myself. I put myself in their shoes. Yes. But I'm not entirely just thinking about them. Yeah. I'm thinking about the art. As long as you take care of the art, the art will take care of you. Yes. And the art will take care of itself. It will find a way to but, reach but the that people. But that conversation struck a lot of people the wrong way when you brought it up talking about people and, their and the type of music that they're giving out. Mm. And it's you, the teacher, telling your, your fellow the same thing. But like again, people may understand it the wrong way. When it comes to the creativity or the direction that people took during the lockdown, not exactly the same as yours. So what exactly do you have to say about them choosing to do what they chose to do and you choosing to do what you chose to do? I think we're <laughs> different. Yeah. When you look at uh, so many artists, so many artists have a different background, yeah. a different reason as to why they, they do music, yeah, the, yeah. Way they do the, music. Uh, the way they even do it, how yeah. they record. Yes. For example, me. I record at my own studio. Yes. I record myself. Yes. I produce majority of my songs with my friends. Yes. I'm there with them in studio. I know about the, the technicalities. Yes. I know so many of those things. Most artists don't have an idea. Yes. Some of them, they write for them. So yes. it's not like they know exactly what to do. Because yes. majority, I think 80% of Ugandan artists don't write their music. Yes. They are written for. Yeah. So if people are writing for you, they're telling you a story. So you just go to someone and say, I want a dance hall song, and then they create it. You go, you want this, they create it. With me, I'm too involved in everything. Yeah. If you take an example of a song like Avant, mm. I got the beat idea when I was driving to my physio. Yeah. Left the physio, went to, to skier. Silver Chagulanyi studio. Yes. Met my friend who is called Triton. Yes. We went in studio. I told him I have an idea of something, which is the first song I dropped this year, Abantu, yes. a personal song. And I had this feeling I need to say something. And this is the thing ideas for artists are all around us. Yeah. That's why me, I don't think about lyrics, think about all these things. The lyrics write themselves. Yeah. I don't write songs, the songs write themselves. The energy is within. So as an artist, you just have to tap into it. When I sing about Avanto, how many people relate to that song? So many. But why do they relate? It's because they've gone through it. How yeah. many artists know about it? So many. Why didn't they do it? It's because yeah. they didn't tap into the energy when it came. Yeah. And sometimes when you miss that energy, you may, someone else will do it and say, I wish it was me who, I thought I had that idea. Someone ma did it before me. Even in other things that we do in life. Yeah. Someone will do the same thing you wanted to do because you didn't act on it. Yeah. So for me, I'm always in the moment to act on ideas. And that's why I feel like I'm different from so many of the other guys. Because for them, they probably need someone to act on their own idea. Yeah. Me, I don't. It's me. Yeah. I'm a producer, so I'm looking at the songs. I know the direction we are trying to take. So we're going to work around the song until we have the right thing. Whether it's mixing, whether it's mastering, whether it's beat making, whether it's arrangement. I'm looking at all these things on a personal level yeah. with my guys. So that's the difference. That's why I feel like 
different artists work differently because it's different circumstances. Oh, yes. People wow. are sharing different vibes and energy. Um, it, it's funny you've mentioned that, and I love the fact that um, even as you talk about how different artists work, there's also a press that is totally different yeah. for the different audiences. We just had a reggae track, um, we've had the slow tracks, and lots of people have been asking, especially on the TL, we need the dancehall apress back. Mm -hmm. What's happening with that dancehall apress? All I can tell you is that there's a song dropping, and this is what it says. Yeah. See, 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 damn chalo. See, 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 damn chalo. See, 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 damn chalo. See, damn chalo. <laughs> Why come this far for me to move back? When all eyes on me, na foka to pack. Forward man, me na go move back. Atenja ku yidi vasi genda ku ba. <laughs> Zimbanju in a city center. Tell them. Landlord, damn tired, daddy rent. Tell them. When banko vanja, man yam banko wenja. Don't tell man boon no come a wencha. <laughs> a long time, me no day a fiddy game, sir. <laughs> me get one try to an instrumental. He run road, come see no challenger. Like yeah. Kalye no chimani city a danger. Tell them. <laughs> <laughs> I am See speaking for the people when I say yeah. I will speak with music. Uh, well, that's the answer. It's yeah. That's my next song. It's dropping very, very soon. You should hurry yes, because it has so many nice lines that they'll copy and paste. Oh, no, they can't <laughs> copy. You know, you know, my music is already registered. So oh, they copy. I'll sue them later. You know, I, 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 I put a lot of respect to what you just said. That um, yeah. when, when people are asking for where is the yeah. dancehall able, yeah. and then he says it's there, but he just chooses to do what he, what wants he to feels move. like he should put out. Yeah. And then he goes on to say, he carries on and says, those who want something will take something. Those who don't want something will we'll not take it, something. Yeah. Classic example. There's a time he was invited by the Abeka to come and have a live performance with them. And Epa stepped on stage and, and the people that I was seated with over at the table were saying, ha, sawa ya ndongo. You know, Epas actually want the other side. <laughs> and he did <laughs> the slow, mellow ballads. And some chick at one point said, <laughs> <laughs> you remember that performance? Yes, yeah. I, I think he had Nexus. At Nexus. Nexus yes. yeah. You remember that performance? Yes, I did. And he did his last song about, you did about four songs. Yeah. And he said, thank you for having me. Bye-bye. People are like, <laughs> 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 I'm not saying. All this yeah, 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 track. And people are thinking, okay, I'm going to go to the I think I only did two little bit of chupa chupa. The high energy ones. And maybe. And they were still acoustic. Yeah, yeah kind of. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. So I, I put a lot of respect to that. Yeah, yeah. That you actually believe in your own craft. You, you, Wait, have, you have gone uh, so Epa's much, so as, much as, into as yeah, your own about, direction. Uh, you know, performances. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, it was yesterday that I got a note. Um, artists have yeah. been invited by Eddie Kenzo at uh, Alu Suites, uh, which is former Serene in Mutundwe. Yeah. And right about now, they're they're having a jam session. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, what you guys had. But then but again, actually, it yes, is right now, now. You know, he said uh, the old days of jam session created memorable moments among musicians, built confidence, nurtured many, and gave birth to a lot of talents. Therefore, we are launching our jam session today. Previously, it used to be right here at the National Theatre. I think it was every Monday. Uh, so, yeah, he said, I'm inviting all musicians, singers, instrumentalists, and all well wishes at a Lou Hotel and Suits, located at uh, former Serene Suits, the Uganda National Reserve offices in Mutundwe. Yeah. So, basically, uh, even as we speak right now, it has started the show. Are you going to go there? Are you going to perform? Am I going to go there? Yeah, for the jam session? For the jam session? Yes. <laughs> 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 and by the way, they have just received a certificate <laughs> of uh, incorporation, and, um, <laughs> which pretty much says that uh, they are working. This is it. Certificate of incorporation. I certify the Uganda National Musician Federation Limited, mm -hmm. limited by guarantee, without mm -hmm. share capital, has this day been incorporated with limited mm -hmm. liability. 27th of June. That's interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, the jam session, I'm not going to be there. I have a lot. What about the other? They seem to be more open now. Yeah, they have yeah. others, but I don't see myself going there. It's no problem. I feel like they'll have enough artists. They don't need me. And um, Membership. Hmm? APRES membership and uh, the Uganda National. No, no, no. I'll, I'll let them do their thing. Uh, they, there's a lot that they can do, but I don't need to be involved.
I would rather do things behind the scenes than, than do all these things. I feel like the jam session is not a bad thing mm -hmm. for musicians to come together and sing to each other. A singer sings for another singer. That's, that's not bad. I want to sing for fans. I've never I'm not, not really interested in singing for my fellow singers. Like, <laughs> I don't see it that way. But yeah. I think if they want to do that and come together yes. and build the unity and they think that the bond is going to come from there, I think it's, um, it's the fakeness that's going to come from there because people are going to be pretending that they like each other. <laughs> but <laughs> deep <laughs> down. Actually, deep down, they don't. Yeah. Keyword, fakeness. It's, it's, it's fake. Like, I, I feel like in the end, because I've seen so many artists who pretend that they have love and they don't. So for me, what I'm doing, to be honest, yes. as I told you in the beginning, I'm helping young artists. Yeah. That is my calling as Bagonza. Yeah. And that for me, I feel like it's better for me to do that. Help them in studio, teach them a few things, show them how they can uh, put their music up out there. I'm going to be doing master classes. So for me, I feel like that would be more impactful than... Going to joining, national theater. Uh, going to national theater and sing with my fellow artists, but uh, it's Who already established. Already established. And you, up said, there. and you said your goal is tailor-made for fresh new artists. Exactly, it's it's for the younger ones because and I feel I feel they int they intrigue they interest me. Yeah. Younger artists, they give me that feel. You know, I want this to is, this support. Is a, is a fresh thing. Mm -hmm. This is a fresh, fresh thing. Uh, as you've seen, they've just done what certified yes which shows you it's very fresh they had not done it yet yeah, yeah. and uh, which is good I feel like they're doing a good thing to stand for the industry and coming together but that was the same thing with uh, Uma, Uma. Yeah. which was good even with other uh, other for beginners where is your foot in this my foot is nowhere what do you mean your foot is nowhere I you're an know. artist Yes, I'm an At art most one of the biggest artists in the yes, game I'm one one of the biggest but um, I'm very humbled by that <laughs> you mean your, your <laughs> foot of interest <laughs> is neither at the Federation mm. nor at the UMA? Yes, because with both, like let's say with UMA, we've been part of it and I'm already part of UMA, to be honest. I'm already part of UMA. And I was there even like as an advisor and I saw what was going on. But basically things just turned around, around the voting thing and everything just went sour with how artists were fighting each other. So I looked at all this stuff and I'm like, we're not helping one another. We're actually sabotaging one another. Different artists want something else. The others want something else. Others are complaining that these people are the ones who want to stay in power. They don't want us to stay in power. So for me, I'm not part of confusion. I would rather go home and help people I can help would in you, my own way. Would you call this confusion the current standing not of what yet. is happening between Federation not and Not yet, but it's only just a matter of time. Let me play you a clip. Let me play you a clip. Jay, play me that clip. Let me play a clip from the president of UMA. Mm. Now that we have certified the federation, yeah. let me just play you a clip here real quick and you tell me what you make of it. Yeah. This is from the president of UMA. President of UMA. Mm. Cindy Sanyo. Let's listen. Yeah. Dewo, okuva yu reporting otherwise. Kwa mwavu deo nga temutikanyi za temufederate nze, but it amaude ne gafuruma. Okuva mwavu amaude benjini ababa deo ne batu gama anti mwe mukirizo kwe gata kuhumu. Sima. Kwe gata kufederation. Chansho kinze nyo. Chid really surprised me because baba deo ne chitufa wade bachimanyi. So ne unyiza nti bachu sizi vigambo ni waga nti uma yako zechi. Ya kirizo kufederating. Atenge mbeda jetu wavili deka ote yava denunji na kamu. Chovola wane biga ya geze na posting na gama if anything happens to me ya vanda vango. Chitegeda. Because he felt threatened. Kwe tu wavili deo. Nobody feels safe anymore kudayowa. Okudayo Serene. Kufefena, the 13 associations who went, everybody doesn't feel safe anymore. Okudayo. Yeah, yeah, bigger you call your statement because it's feeling insecure. So there is no way we federated that we are scared for our life. You understand? That is not, it's not possible. But in the chairman, you know, Serene, that we can knock a job. Kiri anyo. Chida we can knock a job. Simanyi, nzenganze, kwa sinu. Kumbela je walabi. But kumbela je narabi. Wama uri okumanti, alabi, you know, kula situation. <laughs> to uh, digest the truth gospel <laughs> on that uh, particular link. Looking at that. I want you to face the camera. <laughs> Looking at that. We just certified this, the mm. federation. The president is saying no. Mm. We did not allow. She, she, sh uh, Cindy uh, doesn't strike me as a liar. Cindy is very, very um, honest. I've th the times I've met her, it's very clear with things. And I personally feel like that is that does not look good. 
if you're going to leave a meeting in that kind of manner, if you've come together to actually have um, dialogue, yeah. you know, with people, and then after said they actually decided to be part of it, when they actually left with bad blood, in a sense, based on what she's saying, I feel like for anyone who is watching that can see that there's a problem. And that's why I told you, people now, let's say the Federation may want people to join by force, and I think that is wrong. Based on the video. Yeah. Based on what Cindy is saying, that does not sound nice and it doesn't look good. Not I at all. She's mentioning threats. Yeah. Yes, and She's even mentioning threats, that does not look good because if you want people to join, you need to be gentle. You need to show them why they should join. You need to show them how it's good to join. And you need to give them assurances of what you're going to do and what you really so stand for. How have you been approached? Be yeah, I've been called. By the Federation? Yeah, by a couple of artists. They've called me. Have called me and uh, it's even some of my friends, you, uh, you, you know. You spoke about not being part of the confusion, and you also did highlight the fact that if you can mm. help artists in your own way, you'd definitely be I'll able find to. You. Is there another way? Because considering you're not the only artist right now that we yeah. have here who yeah. has come out to say they do not exactly want to be part of absolutely all the federation and everything. Keep, yeah. No, I mean, okay, so many have said they're yes. just putting it to the Probably side. The others, I didn't and say I don't want to be part. All I said is that I'm not part. Yeah. You but know, you for me, that's what I'm saying is that you have to convince me yeah. to see what you're doing and actually be open and transparent. But yeah. by the look of things, if Cindy can come out and say that, that, doesn't that shocks me to even come and really <laughs> have anything to say. So the I the want to listen. What yeah. is mothering this confusion? Is it the money? I don't know because I'm not there. Like I, I would like to speak about things where yeah. I'm actually Th that's, that's really where, that's where I'm asking. in line to, to see whatever is happening. Th the question this is, your is business yeah. papers. Yes. why would you choose not to know? Ah, because I can, I, can, I can exist without the Federation. And I did exist before them. I did exist before UMA. I didn't need UMA to come up as an artist. Mm -hmm. I did not need um, all those things. We only needed a studio and a mic. We only needed to want to do something. And when we decided that we are going to do it, uh, and we, we felt abandoned, there is that law of abundance. Yes. You know, the law of attraction. We knew we were going to make it. We knew we were going to be big. We knew we were going to be special. Mm -hmm. So that's what we believe and think about. We don't believe that there is even that much of unity. There is so much pretense. And for me, that is the stuff, as I said in the first place. I don't want to be part of things that are not clear. Mm. Yeah. So for me, yes, I understand it's a good thing for the industry to merge and have this good energy, but is it really good energy? Based on what you're saying, they want to mandate <laughs> the industry for you. By force? Not by force, <laughs> but by law. They want to mandate it for you. It's, it, I, I would think it will be mandatory as opposed to being necessary for you to be in the know uh, of what they were doing. Yes, I could be in the know. But it's not mandatory for me to be part. And I feel like as an artist, you are an independent thinker. That's you right. are, I don't think I'm under big talent management. Yeah. I don't think I'm under Bebe Cool's management, Gagamel. Mm. Mm. I'm not under any of those. I'm under I am APAS management. Yeah. From the beginning of my career, we have been our bosses, yeah. us. <laughs> Now, there is no, no way, <laughs> there is no one is going to come and say they, they, they helped me yeah. in that kind of way. We've worked with our friends. It still deems the question, you, you said you can help other artists. Yes. The question is, if there are others that are like you with the same, should I say, ability yes. to help other artists, yes. how best can they be able to help the other artists achieve the same goals that you're all looking for? Considering mm. it seems like uh, one particular direction seems to be going a bit sour. Mm. <laughs> Which other way can people be able to Not help yet. I think they can find a way to yeah. clear their thing. Yes. But I feel like in every, the artist, in, yeah, every mm. artist in their power, they can find a way to help others. You don't yes. need to wait for a federation to be supportive to That's a young true. artist. Yeah. Yeah. And post correct. their song on, 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 on your story yeah. and say, I love this. For example, when the song just dropped City of Danger, I'm yeah. the first person who posted it. Because yes. yeah. I liked it. Yes. I liked what Alien is doing. But do you know that so many people are not happy that he's doing music? Do you know how many people feel like he's taking their place yes. and they feel bad? Yes. Do you know why some of us even step back for three years? Yes. It's because we care for other people to also have a shine. Yes, yeah. because when I'm around, and I'm being honest with you, I cast a sh shadow on many. Yeah. It's a fact. Because I have the vibes, yes. I can speak, 
I have the music, I have the personality. Natani yeah. said, Jim, I look good. I smell good. I I smell good. I smell good. I cast a shadow on me. On so sometimes I pull back and give other people a chance. And for me, I feel like that should be the energy. But artists want everything. And for me, I pray that we have more artists mm -hmm. who love and want to support other young artists who yes. are coming up. Because they also have something to say. Yeah. But sometimes they don't have the way, they don't have the direction, and they don't have that push. And they only need push because they're already talented. Yeah. There's not much that I can add to them. But it's a little easier if they have something to follow, because some of the artists have moved in the directions of the people that they have seen, such as yourself. Mm -hmm. If you step back and give them nothing to look at, they do what they want. When they do what they want, you come out and say, excuse me, no, that's not what you should. So No, I don't think <laughs> I would tell them what to do. Yeah. If they ask me, Mm. and say, hey, Pass, how could I do this? Yeah. I will tell them. Yeah. But I don't think I have a blueprint of what an artist should do at Ukeyo. Yeah. But the point is that I have at least an idea yeah. of a few things. So if they're willing, uh, they're gentle enough to ask, because yeah. me, myself, I ask every day. Yeah. I read every day. I try to learn every day. Why? It's because I know I don't know. But if you think you know everything, and you fail mm -hmm. to actually maneuver and yeah. make it, that yeah. is your problem. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you so Miss, much. Thank Miss, you. In the names of Miss <laughs> Shahai Sherry, yeah. has just sent me a message saying, Dagi, Mr. Apers has done justice to the show today. It oh is no, actually nice to see educated musicians. It was worth the wait. Yeah. <laughs> three uh, years. Three years, man. It's always. And he came bearing <laughs> gifts. What <worth> it? <laughs> uh, Lucia, you've dropped a brand new track. And yeah. Obviously, yes. Abantu and the yeah. visuals you were part of the creatives yes. for it. Yes. You've also been acting, bro. Yes. Yeah. My goodness, what <laughs> next for you now? <laughs> we just did a movie in the band Samba. Hey. <laughs> Some of you, Temwa, Temwa, Jakungu, you spin. You didn't care. You Michael didn't help me. Yeah. Junior. Yeah. 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 yeah, Ubuntu, yeah. but yeah, Ubuntu is the song. Like yes. Ubuntu is the song. It's deep. As we call it a day, in about one or two minutes, rounding it off, mm -hmm. closing remarks before we say thank you for coming through the joint. Yeah. My closing remarks is, please listen to the music. I don't mean hear the music. Listen, listen. because we have a problem is that right now so many people are not listening, they are hearing things. Yeah. We, are in a sta we are in a stage of TikTok where people want quick things, they don't listen, they don't understand anything, they just want to say something. That's why so many people are going into issues. Seen we lost Jaja Ichuli, which is very sad, and it's all because of the mouth. Yeah. We need to watch what we say because we may be accountable. And if anything happens because of what you say, it's your problem. So for me, I pray that we listen more and understand other than just speak. And I pray you listen to my new song, which is Avantu, and it's about us. That's your song. It's not mine. I'm just a vessel. Thank you so much for having me. Always yes. a pleasure. It's been a pass the teacher. Thanks for passing through the joint, baby. Yeah. Make a point to pass through all the time. Thank you. This is your home. Thank you. Without a shadow of a doubt. Thank you. Request one song we can play for you. One song is my song. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Bounce back tomorrow for So Thank you. 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 Th